So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do like this. Um, I would have added more text, but I didn't feel like it. So, um, so first off, you'll need to download two images, um, a picture of the soldier and then a picture of the sky. And this was based on a Photoshop tutorial, and I'll leave a link to everything you need to download in the description. And if you would like, I will leave a downloadable XCF file of this project. That way, um, you don't even need to, because normally you'd have to render the soldier image because it's not already cut out for you. So if you'd like um, an XCF file, just leave a comment to this video and I will post a link to a downloadable XCF file for this in the description. So to start off, just open up a new image and you'll need to cut out the soldier render. Um, I already have one cut out, if I can find it, here you go. So once you're done cutting it out, you can just, um, you can go ahead and just hide that layer for now. Just go to your background layer and make sure, um, if it's, just leave it as white, or you can just paint the whole thing black. Actually that'd probably be easier. Yeah, just paint the whole thing black. Then just go ahead and open up the sky image that you downloaded. And I'm just going to scale this down. So once you're done scaling that, just position it where you want. Then duplicate that layer and go to colors, desaturate. I'm just going to desaturate using the default settings. Then go to colors, levels. And over here for this input levels for the black dropper tool, um, just put it around 25. And then for the white dropper tool, I'm going to put in 225. But you can adjust this, just make it look a little better. Then set this layer mode on to multiply. Then make, then um, you can unhide your soldier layer and just position it wherever you want and duplicate. Uh, the soldier layer and go to colors desaturate and again go to colors levels and just adjust it so that it's a looks a little better and set this layer mode on to multiply and duplicate the desaturated one once and just lower the opacity now go back to your original soldier layer and alpha to selection that layer then get um, your gradient tool, make sure the foreground color is on black, and get the gradient FG to transparent. And just stroke from his feet up so that it hides his feet. Then you can go ahead and select none. And just make sure you can't see his feet anymore. And now you're pretty much um, done. You just need to add a new layer. And we're going to create the rain. So paint that layer in black and go to filters, noise, HSV noise. And my settings are holdness 8, hue 0, or hue 180. Just um, drag all the bars to the top. Then select OK. Now go to colors, desaturate and then go to filters, blur, motion blur. And select for blur type, select linear. And for length, I'm just gonna put in 15. For angle, um, I'm just gonna put in about 63. Now set this layer mode onto screen. And I'll just get rid of all the black. And you can lower the opacity a little if you'd like. And there you go, you have your um, movie poster. And if you'd like, you can just add some text. And you can just add some effects to your text. Um, in my preview one, all I did was um, apply the same rain effect to it, really. And just kind of added some stuff to it. And yeah, that's how you make your own little movie poster.